Okay, everyone, let's go ahead and start off in child's pose. So come into child's pose. We will bring our knees out to the outer edges of the mat, big toes to touch in the back, releasing your hips back towards your heels, just allowing yourself to really come into this present moment and enjoy the breath, connecting to the breath. Go ahead and take three slow, smooth inhales and exhales on your own. This is a beautiful pose of surrender, especially during this time. Beautiful. Coming into hero's pose next so go ahead press down into your palms bringing your knees together keeping your toes tucked under and you're going to sit back on your feet this is going to really stretch out our feet the soles of the feet it's a very grounding practice right here Beautiful. And then coming back to child's pose. So sending the knees out to the outer edges of your mat, big toes to touch in the back. Allow your torso to lower between your knees as you place your forehead on the mat. Extend your arms forward, but let them hang heavy. The focus here more is on the brow bone touching the mat as opposed to stretching our arms today. So once your forehead is on the mat, inhale and roll onto your right brow bone. Exhale, roll back to the center of your forehead. Inhale, roll onto your left brow bone. As you exhale, roll back to the center. Keep this little flow going at your own pace. So we're rolling back and forth on our brow bones. And as we do this, we're really stimulating the third eye point, which is the chakra for intuition. And this helps us set an intention for our practice today to listen to our bodies, connect with our breath. And it's a lot of times in yoga, we think we are doing things wrong. We are constantly making decisions based on what a pose is supposed to look like, quote unquote, and what muscles are supposed to open in a certain pose. However, during this practice, we are only going to listen to our bodies. So nothing is wrong. Feeling the breath and movement connecting is what is important here. If you want to, you can start Ujjayi breathing, which is just a deep sighing sound in the back of your throat as you breathe in and out of your nose. This is a beautiful time also to create a mantra such as I am intuitive or I listen to my body. Maybe you would like to say that mantra three times to yourself as you continue to roll back and forth on your brow bones, continuing to connect with the breath. Beautiful. Once you've said that mantra three times to yourself, go ahead and articulate the spine as you roll up back into hero's pose. So we're bringing our feet and knees together, keeping our toes tucked under. And as we move forward in our practice, try to stay connected to your mantra and to your intuition. So let's go ahead and come up on hands and knees position, placing your arms way out in front of you and send your hips just past your knees for puppy pose. So again, listening to your body, go ahead and start to come up, placing your hands in front of your hip bones, come into hip drop. So allowing your back to bend as you look up to the ceiling, pressing into your hands to take the pressure off your wrists making sure you're pressing into all 10 knuckles as well. Take a smooth, long inhale here. Allow the entire front of your body to open. And as you exhale, coming back into puppy pose, allowing 
your hips to come back past your knees just slightly. Spine is elongated from the tailbone all the way to the crown of your head. We're pressing into the palms and all ten knuckles of the fingers still. Good. And go ahead and flow in between these two poses a few more times. So we're inhaling into our hip drop pose, allowing the front of the hips to drop towards the mat. Gaze is towards the ceiling. We're looking up. Wrapping shoulder blades around and down the back. As we exhale, sending our hips back to puppy pose. So we're sending the hips back slightly past the knees. And go ahead and flow a few more times in between these two poses on your own. And this is at your own breath pace. So allowing your breath to really dictate your movement. Beautiful. Coming back into puppy pose if you're not already. And once you're in puppy pose, take another moment to elongate the spine from the tailbone all the way to the crown of your head. Keeping the length of the spine, we're going to come up into our first downward dog of the day. So tucking your toes under, sending your hips up and back. In this first down dog, let's bend our knees very generously. Listen to our body as we breathe three deep breaths here in downward dog, shooting the tailbone up towards the ceiling. Beautiful. So our knees are bent here. Let's go ahead and straighten our right knee, allowing the right heel to drop towards the floor if that feels comfortable to you. We're really stopping here and breathing into the stretch in the back of your leg. And again, let's stop here and really listen. What is your right calf or hamstring saying? How are your shoulders? Is anything too tight? Do you need to come back into puppy pose? If so, go ahead and do so. Beautiful. One more moment, breathing into the stretch in the back of the right leg. Good. Let's bend our right knee. And as you straighten the left knee, again, we're breathing into the stretch in the back of the left leg. But let's listen to our body. Is this too much? Or maybe you can go further. Just asking yourself, how is your body feeling here and what is it telling you? Beautiful. Let's bend both knees, shooting the tailbone back up towards the ceiling and then allowing both heels to drop towards the floor. On your next inhale, float into plank pose or modified plank on your knees. So here in plank, we're looking about six inches out past our fingertips. Our wrists are directly underneath the shoulders. We're shooting back through our heel bones, breathing here into the length of the entire torso, even as we're holding in plank. Good. Let's lower to the mat, lowering your knees first, your chest second, and your hips last. Placing your hands underneath your shoulders now. Take them about one inch off the mat. Inhale, look up, allowing your back to bend, coming into a baby cobra pose without our hands. So we're activating all those beautiful long back muscles. Good. Exhale, come back down. Let's come into all fours. And when you're ready, on an exhale, curling the toes under, lifting yourself up into downward facing dog. Beautiful. Stay still in this downward dog for about three breaths. Good. Let's come into another round of vinyasa. 
So from down dog, let's float ourselves into plank pose or modified plank on your knees, sending breath into the length of the entire torso. Beautiful. Take one more smooth, long inhale and plank. As you exhale, lower your knees down first, chest, bone second, and hips last. Coming into Cobra Pose, so placing your hands underneath your shoulders and then taking them about one inch off the mats. Looking up for Baby Cobra, allowing your back to bend. We're pressing down into the tops of our feet here. Beautiful. Coming back down to the mats. Let's inhale, come up into all fours. And as you exhale, curl the toes under, lift the hips up and back for downward facing dog. Beautiful. Let's breathe three long, deep breaths in this downward dog. On your next inhale, look forward. As you exhale, step or walk your feet forward in between your palms, coming into our first forward fold today. So bending your knees very generously, allowing everything to hang heavy, allowing head and neck to release, really allowing your spine to decompress here. So really let your head and neck go. Allow your shoulders to release. Allowing everything to hang completely heavy. Beautiful. On your next inhale, look forward. Place your palms on your shin bones. Keep your knees bent. Extend your chest bone forward to what you see. At the same time, shooting your tailbone back. Coming into a nice flat back position. Beautiful. Inhale here into the length of your spine. As you exhale, forward fold. Good. Inhale, tucking your navel into the spine. So we're activating our lower abdominal muscles. And we're using those abdominal muscles to roll our vertebra one spine bone at a time all the way up to standing. Mountain pose. Beautiful. Once you get here in mountain, find those knobby hip bones. And we're lining our feet up parallel with our knobby hip bones. Good. Palms down by the sides, reaching down through your fingertips. Inhale, lift tall through the crown of your head, reaching your arms up overhead when you're ready. Good. Exhale, palms together at heart center. And let's release our palms back down by the sides. Mountain pose. Beautiful. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. This time, as we exhale, we're just going to lower our right hand down to the right hip. Inhale, go tall through the left fingertips. And as you exhale, side bend over to the right. Good. We're reaching those left fingertips over to the right, allowing our entire left side to open and release. Sending breath into the length of the left side. Good. Let's inhale, come up, sending our right arm up to meet the left. Exhaling the left palm down, placing it on your left hip. Inhale, grow tall through the right fingertips. And this time, as you exhale, side bend over to your left. Breathing into the length of the entire right side of the body. Good. Inhale, lift your left arm back up, coming back up to center. So both fingertips are reaching towards the sky. Really reach as tall as you can. Good. Let's exhale our arms out to airplane arms. Begin to bend your knees generously and forward fold all the way down. Allowing everything to hang heavy in your forward fold. Good. Inhale into your flat back position. This time as we exhale, we're going to sit our sit bones back as if we were coming into a chair. Reaching our arms forward, palms facing up. So our arms are extended straight out from our shoulder joints. We're not bringing them above our head here. Hugging all of your muscles into your bones, especially those arm muscles. 
beautiful chair pose. Take one smooth, long round of breath here in chair pose. We're activating all of our beautiful muscles throughout the body. Good. On your next inhale, lift up. Reach your arms up. Straightening the knees. Good. Exhale, arms out to airplane arms. Begin to bend the knees. Dive forward all the way down to forward fold. Inhale into your flat back position, placing the palms on the shin bones. Look forward, extend chest bone forward. Beautiful. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, tuck the navel into the spine, reaching your spine one vertebra at a time all the way up to mountain pose. Good. Untucking the chin last. Let's reach our arms up overhead. Exhale, palms together, down to your heart. This time, let's close our eyes, really tuning into our body. Typically, I like to end practice with a sitting posture or a lying down posture, but because of the fact that we are all pretty much stuck inside right now, I thought we could end our practice by standing in mountain pose with our palms together at heart center. Just enjoying this moment, allowing ourselves to really feel our body upright. Feeling the length of our spine from the tailbone all the way to the crown of your head. Recognizing that it still supports us every single day. That we are alive and here on this earth. Into that, let's bow in namaste.